Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and uh, normally I show you the research in action um, but not so much today um, and basically I'm here to show you, teach you how you can research these um, images for yourself. Okay there's lots of videos um, and tutorials and if you get any problems, if you decide to do this, uh, just give us a shout and I'll help you as uh, best I can. So, today, yet another moon, and uh, another moon of uh, Saturn. This is the image we're going to be having a look at. There are quite a few out there. I will be doing some more of these, um, because uh, they're just very interesting. Um, Something, something you've got to say, really. Uh, I mean, I know I'm not getting, I haven't got very many subscribers, and thank you to those. Um, don't know why it's not getting out there. Um, but we're going to carry on. So, uh, I mean, this doesn't matter where we look at, um, I mean, the, this stuff is profound. There's no other way of saying it. Um, proof of life? Uh, yes. Just check the videos. Um, for those of you who know, it's, uh, it, it's mind-boggling. So what I will say, if you're new to the channel, um, is... A, hold on a second, sorry. Um... Is that working? That's not working. It's a uh, pause and just observe. Take this stuff in. Um, it's not always the easiest. Um, these these images are pre-edited and we're editing them again. Um, uh, what I try and do is pull out all the detail in I can, basically, and try and explain it um, to the best of my ability. Um, and the images can get confusing because there's so much information in there. Um, so let's get into it. Oh yes, it's Cassini Hugens again, which is uh, this is my favourite logo. If you're interested, uh, okay, right. This is the image as you get it. Um, pretty interesting. Um, if you if you wanna if you wanna learn this stuff, um, just take a, a a look at the the earlier videos. It shows you what to look for and how to do this, where to start. Um, but initially, on this image, you can see. Um, okay, right. Sorry, I haven't really prepared for this one, but there's some strange things going on here in the background some lines and stuff and things and uh, if you it, it, if you're not new to this then this will be looking familiar to you if you're not then all will be explained uh, this is the same image ju just simply with some um, contrast put into it um, and there's something I want to point out as well. Uh, this area, can you see my cursor there? This area here has a slightly different makeup to the rest of the image. And uh, I'll explain that. It's something we looked into um, when I did um, some Pluto stuff. So go and have a look at the Pluto stuff. There's, there's a fair few maps in that as well. Um, so cool, let's let's do it. I'm trying not to uh, make these videos too long. Um, this has been colorized uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so what I'll be doing, I'll be zooming in and out and uh, like I say, pause and just try and get to grips with this stuff. I'll try and point out some things as well. Um, 
Now, the video before last was uh, Enceladus, um, which was another Saturn moon. Um, and I can't remember, but I think it, it, it's quite similar to this. Um, Neighbours, as it were. Same bunch of people building the stuff. Um, beings, people, go, don't know. They really don't know. Okay. It's what we're looking at is uh, sort of an infrastructure, a layout of construction. Um, and uh, there's uh, the terracing, the tiering type sort of thing of these structures. So what I do will do, go in a bit further. You'll notice now in this area, like I, I said earlier, how it sort of changed. It looks a bit more sort of mosaic a bit more uh, cube, cuboid, I, I suppose. And when I first looked at it, I thought, okay, that's just part of the uh, processing. It may well be as well, but when I show you some close-ups of uh, what's going on, it actually looks like it's part of the constructions we're looking at. see this sort of style of structure here it's, it's not here or here it sort of ends there it's quite unusual I'm sure we've seen this before So the view we're getting, I'm uh, presuming that these are the, the fronts and the downside in going down, uh, these are the tops. You can see how it's structured and travels on. You see what I mean with this? It doesn't look like a pixelating because um, in the original image you, you can't really see it and that's a very low pixel and it would be sort of more pronounced it's only when you I uh, blew it up that it was more noticeable it's quite it's quite strange this as well it depends how you look at this this is a crater which is here I think where are we 
Da -da -da -da. Ears here. So you can see what looks like a crater there, like this. a little bit deceiving that one But yet again, it's very, very busy. There's lots and lots going on. And when I zoom in, this would probably mean it's just going to look like a jumble. But just pause it and give it time. Give your time, eye, brain to adjust to what you're looking at. I'm sure you guys are sick of uh, hearing me say that, but um, you need to learn how to look at this stuff as well. I'm not sure if there's any layers in here. Oh yeah. I was trying to remind myself because I always get lost. Of some points. So I only managed to put in a... But this is great. So you can see it's not compression or pixelated or anything like that. It's actually forming. These, these, this is there. You see the shadows and the three dimensions. It's very unusual. You know, and again, it could be a dodgy part of the image but it's only in uh, it's only in one one section so you can see the hidden structures in here the stuff that I haven't brought to the surface If you're new to this, you know that I'm not actually telling you what I think it is. Because it could be completely wrong. Completely, uh, as much as I can see, they look constructed. How you interpret the uh, constructions is, is, is down to you. I just can't get close enough. I can't tell you if they're inhabited. I can't tell you if they're ancient. I can't tell you. You see?
But to me, clearly, there is design behind this stuff. Look at all this. It is, uh, there's no other way to say it, very alien looking. So I'm not sure if that is blocked out or it's cut out. Can you see? You can clearly see that this is inside the crater. And there is some sort of visible line here where they have some sort of connection where this is more jumbled up. But you can see the geometric forms here. Okay, this bottom half we're moving into now is I haven't done a huge amount of work on it <clears throat> but it would have been the same as uh, let's just have a quick look at that the rest of the um, photo before I started doing any work on it see these lines <clears throat> it's difficult to work out what what that is um, and from the center of the image down to the bottom there's a slight bowl in it so it could be some sort of distortion artifact or something but when you pull the images out out of the photo it all connects up and looks like part of the design. That's that's what I'm seeing anyway. No, so looking at this, it could be anything. And I could tell you what I think it is, but I'm not going to do that. There's a lot of people doing that, and it, it will just, you know, I could say, I could say this is a, you know, a football stadium, and you believe it's a football stadium, and it, you know, it doesn't work that way. See, here's a, a large crater with some stuff going on here, but it's, this is a problem we have with our minds, our brains, what we've been taught, you know, if we can't see something we can relate to in our head, then, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, it, it's nothing. I can't relate it, so it's nothing. But we have to just look a little bit further than that. It's 
going on? Uh, okay. Okay, so this, if you imagine this area here is a platform with a down. And this is a top area with a down bit here. There's something sticking up and there's something sticking up on top of it. This is something we spoke about a lot. These um, platform type areas with um, constructions which look like they have a tower or a dome sticking out of the top. Look, here's, this hasn't been worked on much. But if I just pull that out a bit more, you can see where it comes down across. There's something in there. The same here. There's something sticking up there. You can see small shadows and things. You just got to give it time. Let the image sink in. This area around here, there's some very funky shapes going on. Very rounded, very curved. There's another little platform with a domey thing on it. The top area. And this looks like it's underneath a bit. And this is, see? Tell me if you want to, uh, me to use a, a pen and sort of like draw these things out. But I have tried it prior to doing the videos. And because the there's so much going on in these um, images that it gets so confusing, so messy, that um, I'm a bit reluctant to do it. It could be more confusing than, than, than helpful. So if we just pan out a bit, we can see this, there's like a, it's not definite, but I can see there's like a, a line. Moving through the image there. Like I said, I will be showing you uh, more of this moon. Um, let me know if you want to see more of this or uh, different zoom percentages. And if it's enough, I did ask that on the last uh, the one before last, I think and people were saying it was OK or didn't say anything. Clearly a densely constructed area. This here, 
Let's have a closer look at that. Here's this section here at the top. This is something sticking out. A slight bit of a shadow there. Or not. can see the, the closer we get to the top the longer the perspective is so we see more of the fronts of these things The horizon is always a good place to look. So if you uh, pause and just check this out. You have to sort of pinpoint an area and try and make some sort of sense with it. And then just work out from the area. Just try and relate the uh, three dimensions of the shapes initially. Because these are not familiar, um, they're not a familiar design of structure. But definitely constructed. for the magnifiers must try that one day see from here you can see this area here This is why, if you're new, in the other videos, this is what I normally do. I show you a good half hour, I would have thought, at least, of um, <clears throat> actually showing you uh, the research. And it's probably the best way for you to get used to or understand what I'm doing. Uh, 
to try and make sense of what is going on on the surface of this moon. So to me, this is, um, that's interesting, a, another colonized moon of our solar system. I say our, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Look at this. Clearly see these things going under and over each other with this linear type sort of uh, uh, construction design, building design, and it's all over the place. So. There we have it. Listen to what I'm saying. Another colonized moon of Saturn amongst, I think it's about 17 or 18 places that I've done now. Um, and they all seem to be um, saturated with um, constructed settlements. Be they small moons? How big is this? Uh, I think it's even smaller than Enceladus. Um, I don't know, 949 miles across. Um, tiny, really. There you have it. Right, okay, guys. Right, as usual. Um, let us know what you think, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye.